So was it really worth staying up for Japan versus Greece? Can or will Italy do England a favour? As yes, it looks like it could all be over for England thanks to this guy. No. No. One of those guys. It's the World Cup show. Welcome to the show, everybody. So England's chances are slimmer than the thread they hang by of the rope they were given that was bitten by the man who cometh on the out. Yeah, possibly the only thing worse than the England defeat is the tidal wave of England out of the World Cup. Clichés and puns forced down our throats ad nauseum. In other words, witnessing an England post-mortem is worse than witnessing an actual post-mortem. England-Uruguay was tighter than Edison Cavani's shirt, but as ITV commentator Clive Tilsley reminded us, this is not a beauty contest. England need a win. Obviously, Clive, if it was a beauty contest, it wouldn't have made the blindest bit of difference. It wasn't just the Brits at it, though. When Wayne Rooney hit the crossbar with his diving header in the first half, Danish commentary offered the helpful, if Rooney had a bit more hair, it would have gone in. So amidst all this deafening noise, we turn, of course, to Rihanna, who gave us a running commentary of the game. England, what you gonna do? Rooney, oh shit. Man, they know better than to give Suarez that much room, bruh. And Uruguay defense is almost disrespectful. Mm. Forget Queen Riri, perhaps in a time of need, the nation must seek comfort and perspective from our own royal family. One has waited years for England to play like Spain. Now we are. Speaking of which, Italy's Mario Balotelli has a special message for our monarch. If we beat Costa Rica, I want a kiss, obviously on the cheek, from the UK Queen. I'm sure that's doable, Mario. So, ahead of tonight's match, England just hope Italy don't face a Costa Rican player recovering from major surgery. Is that it for England? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Meanwhile, Colombia defeated the talented Ivory Coast 2-1. Javinho confusing Arsenal fans the world over by scoring a good goal. Colombia's goal celebrations would have got them to at least the semi-finals on Britain's Got Talent, but I have to make up something new for the next round if they genuinely want to impress. And as for Japan, Greece, well, let's hand over to Vincent Lafiura, a real estate author slash broker in Toronto. He tweeted, most boring match of the tournament so far, Greece and Japan. Thanks, Vincent. Looking ahead to Italy versus Costa Rica this evening, top tweeter and future king Mario Balotelli will be hoping to add to his record of 13 goals for Italy, 11 of which have come in competitive fixtures. Their opponents, Costa Rica, can not only eliminate England with a win, but they'd also become only the third CONCACAF nation to win back-to-back -back World Cup matches. But good news, England fans. The Azzurri have scored in their last 15 World Cup games, a record run for them and the best current run of any nation. So, will England scrape through? Let us know what you think in the comments below, as well as how you think the rest of tonight's games will pan out as well. And don't forget, you can subscribe to the channel. Coming up later on, we've got the great comedian Andy Zaltzman in the house, so make sure you check back in a little later for that.